there's no way to prove this. No one's coming forward with it. Anyway, to the bleach lady who told me that I should use my brain or what's left of it uh, on the video about the fungus that disappears when you blow on it, the video actually is was taken, and I didn't mention this, after I sprayed everything with bleach several times, used a steam cleaner at over a hundred and something degrees to clean it uh, for several hours. I'm sorry. And, uh, ow, 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 and the result is, oh god, ow, 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 ow. The result is exactly what I showed you. This white uh, material that is basically the same fibrous um, life form. Um, you know, it reverts to this white stage where it then um, begins itself, begins its cycle over again. And, uh, you know, we, we clean everything and. Uh, Yet, every day, I wake up with this stuff, you know, fleeting all over. I mean, you know what it feels like to have cat hair on you? Well, imagine if the cat hair is covering your body and jumping all around and going up your nose and your mouth and your anus and your ears and your eyes and your, you know, I'm, I'm still covered in freaking sores from head to toe. And they're some of the most painful little things I've ever had. Electrical shocks, as though these things are directly connected to the nervous system. And, you know, I got stories from this thing that, that would make a Hollywood movie sound like a day in Disneyland, you know, a horror movie. It's mind-boggling. And all the while, trying to take responsibility for myself, all the while trying to deal with my mental health status, and seeking treatment and therapy and doctors and blah, and they really haven't done much for me. You know? Somebody told me that I should be, that there are people who believe I should be incarcerated in a mental hospital for the rest of my days. And I'm like, why? I've never threatened anyone. I'm not particularly violent, although when I get frustrated I start throwing things around now because my anger management skills are not so great now that I'm under constant stress. Physical, psychological, and spiritual stress. Uh, pain is can make you crazy and you know it's like I try really hard to be calm and kind and reassuring and supportive and loving and but there are some things that happen that I just lose it like I can't not get upset you know I had the thing that I need right there. I've been doing this survival shit since I was a little kid, since my parents, it's a long story, but since I believed that I had nobody that loved me and nowhere to live and started knocking on strangers' doors saying, hi, can I live with you? Will you be my parents? Um, I've been filling my pockets with food and medicine and bits of string and pocket knives and matches and anything else I need to survive since I was four, you know? and. I guess Petra doesn't quite have those skills because she's lived a different experience, but, you know, and, and I don't want to lose her because I can't control myself. It's kind of stupid. But, you know, how do you live with this? How do you deal with this? You know, I'm trying to apply again for disability. My ability to follow up and follow through and actualize things has been severely compromised. And I'm beginning to think that perhaps a supportive environment like an institution might be one of the best things for me. But at the same time, I recognize having been 
<clears throat> in these situations and living like this for many years, that the, the lack of personal freedom uh, is really against my being, you know? Um, anyway, that's about all the time I have. I could talk forever. I don't know if you've listened forever, but thank you for giving a shit. Pardon my French. Uh, and allowing me to have a place to vent, to express, and share. Having watched many other people's stories and where are we going with this? Uh, are we being used as a catalyst for a higher social order change? Uh, to bring in the new world order through fear uh, of sickness and death and the resulting... You know, why did they choose people that are sensitive, emotional, artistic, creative, caring, kind, loving people, or are those just the ones that speak out? I, I don't really know, but I, I wish that I could show, share all the things that run through my mind, because although at times I'm not fully cognizant, there are times when it just runs at high speed with all these connections and ideas and concepts and, and anyway, there's really not any way I can share the reality of my experience with you, but I try. Thanks for watching and may God have mercy on us.